happy monday what's up y'all y'all already know what time it is it is scripture of the week and i pray that your day was well i pray that it was productive i pray that you got some things accomplished on today i pray that you know that you are a blessed child of god and if you don't know now you know we about to hop right into it scripture of the week we're going to be reading from Matthew chapter 22, verse 36 through 38. And this is what it says. It says, teacher, which is the great commandment in the law? And he said to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment. And a second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Brief background. Let me go ahead and, and break it down real quick. So at this time, this was the Pharisees that was testing Jesus. You know, they did that a lot because they always wanted to test his teachings and test what he was about. And they always wanted to catch him in a lie, but they never could do it because everything that Jesus taught was the truth. So anyway, um, it says here in scripture, it says that, uh, teacher, which is the great commandment in the law. Now, this Pharisee was uh, like a lawyer. He was an expert in law. So he was waiting for Jesus to say something that was wrong so that he can correct him. Um, and as you can see, Jesus said that you should love God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. So when Jesus says that, he means that with your whole being. That means that total devotion to God is needed to show that you love him. That means with your mind. That means with your soul. That means with your heart. Your life is dedicated to him. Your, your, every fiber of your being is dedicated and devoted to God. And then it says this is the... Uh, this is the great and first commandment. I mean, this is the first commandment of all things that was the most important. And then it says, secondly, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Now, I know the second one could be very, very hard. Because when you think about people who've hurt you, you think about people that hurt your feelings, you think about people that done you wrong in the past, it's hard to say, I love that person. Or it's hard to say, I love you, right? But I always think back to what Jesus did and what he went through um, during his ministry here while he was on earth. People criticized him. People embarrassed him. People spat on him. People mocked him. People talked about him like a dog. But he loved them regardless, even to the point of death, when he said, Father, forgive them for they do not know, meaning they are ignorant of what they're doing. You know, but he still loved the whole world. He still did the ultimate sacrifice that no other person in this world has ever accomplished and will never accomplish. And then he defeated death on top of that. So I always think back when I have a, a, a tendency to be like, nah, they did me wrong. God, to turn me around and be like, no. You know, you know better than that person if you feel like you're going to hold a grudge because of something they did or something they said and not show love. When I've shown you love through your sin, sinful ways, when I show you love when you disobeyed me, when I show you love when you disrespected me, when I show you love when you disregarded me. So sometimes for us humans, we feel like we're entitled to love who we want to love. But God commands us to love people just like we love ourselves. We feed ourselves good food. We dress ourselves in nice clothes. Treat your neighbor the same way. And please don't get this confused with being a pushover. I'm not saying that. But when you do have God in your life, when you do follow his word, it makes it easier to, to love strangers, to love people like God loves you. And that's something that I'm striving to do each and every day. I'm not perfect and loving. I'm not I'm not an expert in loving, but I'm 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 asking God to help me in that area to grow me spiritually in that area so I can continue to be an example or I strive to be an example of of how God loves his people. So reflect on that today. I pray that you tune in on the One in a Million show every Saturday at 2 p.m. on 1320 a.m. WCBG. God bless y'all. I love y'all. And let's continue to walk this walk the best way we know how. Peace.